Hello everybody, my name is Faye Smith, I'm a makeup and hair artist based in Vancouver, BC, Canada. Uh, today I want to do a more fun makeup tutorial. I don't know if anyone out there will admit it, but uh, I know you all love Jersey Shore, I know I do, and uh, myself and uh, a couple of my friends have Jersey Day every single Thursday at the moment. So uh, today I want to do a Jersey Shore tribute makeup. Um, I'm going to copy Snooki's makeup. But I'm going to do a little bit, um, I'm also going to copy her hair to the huge rehab. So um, watch that tutorial as well and have a giggle over me. Uh, but I'm going to do more of a kind of phase version of, um, of the makeup because I am certainly nowhere near as tanned as Snooki is as I don't think I've seen sunlight for quite some time. I'm very pale but I will be bronze today. So here is my uh, Jersey Shore Snooki makeup look. So I'm going to begin the makeup um, with foundation and concealer as always. Um, I am just going to do the routine as I would do normally and then I'm going to add my tan using uh, various different types of bronzers later. I had originally thought about uh, using uh, a foundation that's darker than my skin tone but I think I want to keep it still a little bit more real and um, maybe if it were in summertime I could use something a little darker. For now let's go with natural. So I'm just going to shove my hair up out of my face for now so I uh, don't end up with messy hair as I'm going to be styling it later and I am going to do a concealer first so I'm going to put this concealer under my eyes uh, to kind of brighten around the eye as well as eliminate some of that darkness that I have and then anywhere else that I see redness such as between my eyebrows tends to be red and I've had a really annoying uh, zit pop up there which is wonderful and um, any other blemishes around my chin I tend to get them so next I want to give myself um, extra coverage I'm going to use the same product that I always do my young blood um, loose mineral foundation in the same color that I'm using at the moment um, for coverage I'm going to add a little bit more than I would do normally as uh, I guess Snooki's look is always an evening clubbing look where you know, you do tend to put more makeup on over night time, but um, the Jersey Shore way is makeup all day. <laughs> kind of cool phrase, I suppose. So smart. Okay. So this is the part that could be really hilarious, as I haven't used this product before. Um, I am going to use Bourjois Paris. Um, even resort without rubbing in one day hold bronzer spray. Uh, I just sprayed it on my hand and it does come out kind of orange so I'm really intrigued to see how this looks but the Jersey Shore look is tanned so uh, let's give this a go. <laughs> Am I tanned yet? <laughs> I should just do this every day rather than go to the beach. see them in the show and they're like going out before a night out and they're just like all over the face. <laughs> I want to do that but I'm scared. <laughs> okay. So I must admit I've been a little bit wimpish with the bronzer spray but in time and um, with you know the summer coming along I will uh, learn how to be more brave with it. But of course we need even more bronzer. So I'm going to now use a bronzer powder as well. I really love this product from Versanti. It's a fairly new product. It just came out last year. It's called the Brazilian Bronzer. And it's a mineral powder, so it blends very, very easily. It's made with micro minerals. So I absolutely love this one. So I am just going to kind of give myself a little dust on the cheeks and maybe a dust all over as well. It has a little bit of shimmer in too, which is always nice. I am a shimmer fan. Maybe I'll get my bigger brush and just some all over as well. So now that I'm a uh, Jersey Shore skin tone, just on my face and neck, um, I am now ready to do my snooky eyes. So the eyeshadow is very um, glamorous, dark black and grey, smoky eye, um, it's kind of, it's great for the night time. 
So I'm going to use a couple different products. The first product I'm going to use is just a um, silvery white uh, shimmer and I'm just going to put it on the inside of my eye and my brow bone just to start everything off. This stuff can get quite messy so I suggest using a dabbing motion. So that's good for shimmer. So um, I'm just going to refer to a picture of her right now. Maybe I can show you guys on the camera. So, it's not cute. Uh, okay, so we're going to do a silver and grey smoky eye with the, the black more focusing on the outer corners on the top and the bottom. So I'm going to begin with uh, silver. I can just show you the silver. Silver, it's quite dark silver. And now I'm ready to add my black, so I'm going to use an angle brush for this. And um, this time around, I'm going to be using uh, my young blood black eyeshadow. It's it's all very smoky, so I'm just going to kind of apply along the lash line. Yeah, all the colours kind of blend together really nicely. And it's just now I'm going to do the other side, just how I did that side. So using my angle bl brush to. Uh, on the top and the underneath. Keep everything very smoky. And use a little bit of the black on the ear too. So now my eyeshadow is all done and it's all smoky, smoky style. I'm going to add a black eyeliner black liquid eyeliner and I'm just going to add it to right to the lash line here I don't want it too prominent because the look is all very smoky and, and then I'm going to use um, a black eye pencil to line the inside of my eye My eye design is complete, I just need to finish this up with uh, eyelashes. So I want to do some huge eyelashes to be true jersey style. I'm going to use a pair just like this. Uh, okay, so I'm just going to trim a tiny little bit and then I'm going to use my duo eyelash glue to apply the duo glue to the rim of the eyelashes. Like so. Grab some tweezers and I'm going to hold on to them, hold on to the eyelashes just like so, like this. Let the glue dry a little bit so it's a little bit tacky, it'll just make them easier to apply and then apply. Now these ones are probably a little bit um, more dramatic than ones that Snooki would wear. but. Um, Let's be a little bit crazy today. So I want to let the glue dry a little bit first before putting on some mascara. Um, so just a couple minutes and pop mascara on and then we can move on to lips. So I've waited for the glue to dry a little bit and I can now apply a black mascara. I like it to be just as black as possible. And um, the eyelashes are already pretty dramatic so I don't really want to get too much on the actual false eyelashes. I just want to get it onto my eyelashes so that they, because uh, my eyelashes are fairly fair in colour, uh, so I want to make them black as well, and I also want to kind of blend them to the false eyelashes. So just half strokes, I suppose. 
So I lied on my last step, the, there is one more step before lips, which is eyebrows. Uh, my eyebrows look very washed out at the moment, so I need to fill them in a little bit. And I'm going to do them like Snooky does, which is actually fairly, fairly natural. A little bit of definition and a little bit of uh, colour, but pretty natural. I'm going to use a variety of brown colours that match my hair colour and an angle brush to do that. And I'm just going to kind of lightly fill my eyebrows, just following my natural shape. So I want to finish off my snooky look here with um, her nude lip that she always wears. It's a very nude skin colour. Uh, I'm going to choose this one right here today, right up there. And I'm going to apply it with a, with a brush. And then I'm going to use just a nude colour lip gloss over the top as well. So here you have my Fay Bronze version version of my Jersey Shore Snooky look. Uh, I kind of feel like I should just like take this and do a once over again but really now I am scared of that bronzer spray right now so uh, this is my uh, winter version of Jersey Shore Snooky look. Uh, maybe I'll do another one in the summertime when I'm more tanned.